All right, we got our chandelier hung last week. We had some electrons, electricians in here and they were amazing. We've kind of been putting this off because we thought it was going to be a real challenge. We have a two-story foyer here and just getting it painted was kind of nail biting. I felt really, really stressed out for our painters that were on the ladder here, but they <clears throat> did an amazing job. And then our electricians, I had K and K Electrical here in Williamsburg come out and he said that he's installed a few of these lifts for chandeliers and that ours wouldn't be too difficult because of where it was placed in our attic. They could actually stand up in the attic and be able to work. So uh, we purchased a chandelier lift. Um, I'll link it down here below. And really our contractor advised us to not go cheap on the lift. You can get some that are made overseas that may be a little bit cheaper, but he said with how they do the wiring, it's totally different than how we have our houses wired in the States. So we got one that's made in the USA and our electrician agreed. He said that that was the right way to go. So basically they started the job by taking down the existing chandelier that was here. And then one of the gentlemen went up to the attic and installed the motor up there. Um, and then down here they had a large ladder and they brought this crystal chandelier in it and had it kind of suspended across the ladder. Now, let me show you what they installed up here and this can be placed wherever you would like. But here in our hallway, they installed this outlet switch right here, which has a spot for the key. Let me go grab the key. Okay, my dogs are gonna join us. So here's the key. And you just insert your key and is it upside down. Okay, turn it to the left to take your chandelier up, turn it to the right to take it down. So I'm gonna turn it to the right and you can see the chandelier is leaving the ceiling and lowering down. So I'm just gonna stop it right there. It goes very slowly, I guess, to prevent it from swaying. Um, but this is really key if you're doing a crystal chandelier because now, you know, if I lowered it even lower, I would be able to clean the crystals super easily. Um, now, what I also love about that too is that the key is somewhere that I can place in my house so that my kids can't go and just flip a switch and play lower the chandelier. Actually, my kids don't even know it does this, so um, maybe a little tip for parents out there. Uh, so now I'm gonna take it back up. Oh, one more thing I wanted to point out is that you can see whenever it does leave the ceiling, it automatically turns off. Um, he said that he has people who call him that move into a new house and they're like, hey, our chandelier won't turn on. I don't know what's wrong with it. And there's actually like a half an inch of, of a gap from the ceiling that they haven't taken the chandelier the whole way up so it wouldn't turn back on. But you can see here, if I'm gonna um, turn it to the left, it's going to start going back up. That clicking is totally normal and it's almost at the ceiling. And there it is, it turns right back on. So there you go, that's the chandelier lift. I'm gonna take that key and hide it again so my kids don't see it. But if you had any questions about um, how you clean one of these two-story chandeliers, I also have a cleaning product that I'm gonna to recommend to you um, for getting that done as well. But it really is beautiful and just a little bit of an investment, but that's gonna be something that I know we enjoy for the rest of our days here. All right, thanks for watching.